Well, today's a travel day. It is 5, 10 in the morning. We are flying to London for the weekend, so we're just gonna hop over today and then hop back on Sunday. We're very excited to do a little bit of house sitting. So this is how I pack my bag for a weekend trip. We have two shirts, underwear, socks, jeans that I'll wear for the weekend. My camera will go here. Microphone goes here, extra lens, 50 millimeter, just in case I want to shoot some B-roll, drone, cables, and some snacks and my contacts. And then, do you have my toothbrush, honey? No. Okay, another morning of running because we're running a bit behind. I'm starting to notice a pattern here about our early morning travel experience. We're currently in the city center. This is how we're going to transport ourselves to the airport. We'll be flying Ryanair. And the nice thing about Ryanair is it's so incredibly cheap. If you want to get anywhere around Europe, fly Ryanair. However, we've never flown Ryanair before, so we'll see how this experience goes before we make any final conclusions. Ryanair, Ireland's premier air service. They overbooked our flight, no surprise, uh, considering that this is probably the cheapest airline you can get. So we'll make it through security and we'll see if we're even on this plane, which we do have to be on this plane. We found it. found it. Platform nine and three quarters. So this is the first time actually using the camera. Yes, the rest has been on the iPhone. Yeah, the first, the whole entire first sequence was shot on the iPhone, so. The travel sequence. Yeah, it was hard to take this camera out and then try to take it on the plane and then try to be, you know, like incognito because you don't always want to like show that you're recording everything around you. We're only in London for two days, one full day. So tomorrow we'll be here full day and then Sunday we just leave. Yeah. So we're trying to see as much as possible. The advice that we got about coming to London mm -hmm. is to pick one or two things and just go and see the, like, the top two things on your list because mm -hmm. it is huge um, yeah. to try to get around. It, it's a lot. We thought Dublin was big and then we started Googling London and there's about like, eight million more people here so a lot bigger yeah but where we're going where Westminster Abbey is I think Big Ben is there um, yeah so we have a tour or we have like a we got tickets to get into Westminster Abbey today and then tomorrow we have tickets to get into the Tower of London mm -hmm. um, and then we have an hour right now so we're just gonna walk around like Buckingham Palace is nearby um, maybe we'll see the, the eye of London yeah um, but then also tomorrow is like we have like a scheduled event, but then also just doing a lot of walking just because there's so much stuff to see just as you walk by because it is such a historical city. Yeah. Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace, built in 1701. But it's kind of cool. It's, you know, something you don't see every day. King George III used to hang around here until, you know, what he, oh, he well, until he died, it, I yeah, guess. Like, to the Americans came. <laughs> yeah, never did, but. Can I hold him? Am I holding him? Kind of. Well, we are in front of uh, Downing Street. This is where the prime minister lives. So every prime minister moves into 10 Downing Street. Downing Street? I, I can't see the door, so I really don't know what it looks like. Yeah. 
So we are here in Westminster Abbey. Uh, this is the place where kings and queens of Britain are buried, and it is also the site of coronation. Since 1066 AD, um, any king or queen of Britain has been coordinated within these halls. Um, it has been a place of worship for over a thousand years. Also, just something else to note, Isaac Newton is buried here. Uh, Stephen Hawking is buried here. So we'll try to find all of those places. But there's so much to see. It's so overwhelming, the city and being here. Why it's hard to capture everything. Okay, so right here is where Isaac Newton's buried. But it's kind of hard to get there because there's quite a lot of people. But there's a lot, lot of famous people who are buried here. Just didn't really know that before, but yeah. Isaac Newton, I am standing less than 100 yards away from Isaac Newton. So that is where Isaac Newton's memorial is. And that is where Isaac Newton is actually buried, like under the stone right there. We weren't allowed to take any video inside. We could only take pictures. Um, did that stop us? Not necessarily. However, we're kind of towards the end, so the last thing we'll see is the coronation chair. So all the kings and queens that have been coronated, not all, but um, for yeah, those- we'll see how old the chair is. All right, so currently we're leaving the place that we're staying. We're staying in Northern London. And I think the best part about staying in London is we're actually staying for free. Yeah, so it's something called Trusted House Sitter. Um, and you pay to be on the site, but then you can apply to house it for people and their animals. Um, so it's a great way to explore new areas um, on a budget, but also it's also a great way to connect with some animals. Um, we are big animal lovers. So how much does it cost to be on the house sitter website? Um, I think we paid like 150 bucks for the year, um, but then there's like a premium access, and then if you have a pet that you want someone to come sit, you have to pay a little bit more. Uh, so the price kind of fluctuates, but I think it's a great deal because um, like a cheap Airbnb in London is probably like $70 a night. So we're here for two nights, so that already saves us, you know, like 200 bucks. And how um, many how many house sits have we stayed at so far since we've been here? This is our third house sit. Um, we had one in Madison, Wisconsin. We had one in Dublin and now London. And then next weekend we'll be going to Copenhagen. Um, and then in December we'll have a two week house sit in Cyprus. So. Yeah, so overall when you think you're only paying a hundred bucks for the entire year and that's an annual subscription so it renews yearly yeah. however all the places that we're going to be able to stay not having to pay anything to stay there and just have the responsibility of watching a dog which is still you know it's a big task you can't just be gone all day you can't ignore the animal but the biggest thing is we get to explore we get to stay in a nice comfortable house and you also get the benefit of like local advice you know most everyone that we've been like house sitting for is super friendly and always has great recommendations for us to go to so that's nice because we feel like we get to know you know the people who live in the area a little bit more rather than just kind of hitting the tourist spots yeah and the best part is sometimes we get food so sometimes they're like just eat out of the fridge if we want to make coffee we don't necessarily have to go anywhere yeah so that saves on costs as well made it inside the tower. So yeah, we're gonna do some exploring.
the tower or fortified castle is so big that on the like outside wall, a lot of the people who work here also live here. Yes. It's got a lot of tradition. It's got a lot of history. And so if you want to work and be a part of this experience, you, you actually like live in these apartments, mm -hmm. which... Yeah, I think it's a really big honor. Uh, you're still considered like protecting the queen's jewels uh, mm -hmm. or uh, the king, the crown's jewels. Uh, well, the crown, the crown, like the yeah. crown is yeah. actually here. All right, we have now gone through the Tower of London. Yes, feeling a little overwhelmed. There was a lot. There's the crown jewels, there's the whole armory. You can see King Henry VIII and what he wore when he was fighting battles. Yeah, they have like the old palace quarters. Uh, we didn't see the crown jewels uh, because that line was crazy long. Yeah, it was about probably a quarter of a mile long to see the crown jewels. We've been here for like two and a half hours, so feeling overstimulated. Um, a lot Very. of good history. Um, a really cool castle, really well preserved. Um, yeah, yeah. Recommend. <laughs> oh no, I forgot the. What? The, the song, the song, the nursery rhyme. I gotta tell that one. That one's the cool part. So what's really cool is the nursery rhyme, "London Bridge is falling down, falling down," is said to have started when the Vikings tore down London Bridge over a thousand years ago. Now the variations have definitely changed, but the idea of London Bridge falling down is the same, which I think is cool that the nursery rhyme still exists a thousand, a thousand years later. I'm pretty sure that's the first time I've seen an Uber boat. I wonder how much that costs. Hey, taxi! I don't think they're gonna stop. <laughs> okay. okay, so day two is wrapping up. Wrapping up. We're headed back to the house set to take care of the dog named Ivy, who's very sweet. And we're just, you know, it was a lot. It was a lot to do in two days. London is huge. There's a lot to look at. There's a lot to learn. Um, the underground is great, at least for what we were trying to get to. Very hot. Very hot, yeah, it's, it's warm. It's probably like 90 degrees. Yeah, it's like Hades down there. Um, so it was, it was uh, you know, a great trip. It was a great weekend. Being able just to fly over on a Friday, um, stay here again, like for free, take care of a really fun and exciting dog, um, yeah. and then fly back on Sunday is excellent. We also don't have school on Monday because it's Halloween and it's a bank holiday. Yeah, so that'll be nice, kind of come back, relax, get ready for the week, and it won't put us behind or anything. Yeah, for sure. I don't, know, I don't think there's castles in. Wait, I'm sorry, what did you just say? Can you repeat that for the people? Are there castles in Italy? All right, why don't, what do you, why don't you guys tell us? Are there castles in Italy? That's a good question. All right. <laughs> All right, till next time.